Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 20th of June 2023. I've got a little bit of time. Uh, I've finished my afternoon work and the evening work is starting anon. But I should try to stick in a game of Sudoku and that is the New York Times hard level puzzle that you see before you. Uh, what's going on in the news? I don't really know. I haven't had much time to see but I see that Anthony Blinken has met with President Xi. And they shook hands and nothing happened. They didn't start punching each other, <laughs> punching each other's lights out or anything like that. So that's a good sign, I guess. Although I believe nothing actually happened in terms of policy change. Never mind. Shaking hands and chatting is better than uh, fighting each other. So let's see. We, I can see nines blocking these squares and across here like this. It's going to give me a nine. Oh, excuse me. Wrong mode selected already. I'm hitting the wrong keys on the keyboard. Uh, right, nine is there. And nine will be down here. Uh, by the way, I will be switching to pencil marks very, very quickly today. We've got nine blocking down here, nine across here. It means nine's in those squares, across here, across here. Down there, there's a nine. Because for me, playing the game with pencil marks is much easier and less time consuming, despite what those people in the comments section say. For me, it's often not so good. It's a notation-free game. I just don't have the wherewithal to see the numbers. So that's nines, pattern for nines. Not that great. Let's see what else we can do with the ones. Two's across down here, there's a two. Get threes over there. Sevens down and across. Okay, we are missing one, three, seven, eight in this column, and there's uh, three, seven, and eight in the row, so that's got to be a one. Oh, I hear the sound of thunder. Rather a pleasant sound here in Bangkok. We really need more rain. Uh, let's hope it brings it on.
Ah, I think I've got something here. Right, this column here, we need three, four, six, seven, eight. Three, four, six, seven, eight. Now we've got uh, four and six already here, but we've got sevens across here like this. Three, four, six, seven, eight. So three, four, six, seven, eight. So four, six, and seven have to be in these squares, right? Four, six, and seven are up there. Uh, obviously, they've got a blocking seven there, but four, six, and seven in those squares. And this has to be three and eight. So does that mean anything? Yes, it does. Three blocking up here, three blocking down here. That's going to be a three. Uh, this is what? Three and eight. So what about the eights? Anything much up there? Eights. Eights are there. Um, hmm. So this was, uh, I'll say this again, this is four, six, and seven in those squares. Um, do we know, can we say, let's see what's going on with the fours. I uh, don't know what's going on with the sixes. Ah, sixes have to be in those squares there, don't they? So that means six is up here. Six there. Six there. Seven. Hmm. Oh well. Pencil marks on the way shortly, I suspect. What do we know about the ones now? We've got ones in those squares down here. Ah, aha, aha, aha. Okay, we've got ones in these blue squares here, right? That means it's going to put one into those squares. Now, we also have sixes blocking across. So we found ourselves a pair of one and six here. Let's hope that leads to something useful. This is one and six. What do we know? We know that twos will be in those squares, which is not much of a gift. Threes will be in these squares. Let's see, that might be something. Three here. Yes, it is. Three blocking down and down. This was three, eight, wasn't it? So three can't be here. That's got to be our three. That's got to be our eight. Eight across here and across here. That gives us an eight in that square. And we can get this, can't we? Now, this was uh, one and six, I believe I said. So this must be nine. Ah, nine blocking down here will give us a nine in that square. Here we're looking for one and three. Now, we know something about the three, don't we? Yeah, three blocking down here, so three's in those squares. So that can't be three. That must be our three. This must be our one. Now, one across here and one down here, so one is in one of those squares blocking down. That will be our one. We already know one and six is in these squares. So the missing digits here, seven, blocking across here, there's the seven and the missing number uh, five, I think. 
five going to the top like this. There's a five. Seven up here, seven across there. There's a seven. Uh, missing numbers here, one and four, I believe this then have to has to be the six. Four blocks this square, we need a four there for the row, and to finish this row looks like a five. I can hit the right key on the keyboard. Uh, five, five is our last digit in this row, actually. Let's put that there. Ah, one empty square up here that's been shouting at me to come and collect it. Uh, I will as soon as I can find out what goes there. It's a four, isn't it? Four across here and up these two columns means that's a four. Four back in this direction and here and up there. We'll place a four there. Six and seven are in this row. We need six, seven, and eight here, so that's got to be an eight. Five blocks this square, that must be a five. This would be a two to finish the row. Two down, down here, and across here means that that will be a two. And two up here and across the top means that that will be a two and twos are our first completed digit thank you too for your service please come back in the next sudoku puzzle three and seven block up here that means these squares are three and seven this has to not be three or seven that means it's an eight and then there's one more number down here, and that will be a five, I guess. Uh, missing digits here are three, six, so this will be an eight. Hmm. I think I'm going to click through. There might be something very easy to grab now by just clicking on the digits. I suspect that there is. I see it already. Nine across here and nine down here. There's our nine. And this will be... Uh, this was one and six, wasn't it, down here? Uh, and this has got to a three three across here there's our oh, three the missing number here now is six Nine down here, up here, and across there means that's a nine. 
That's the final digit nine, in fact. Okay, four blocks this square, four blocks this square. So in this row, that's where the four goes. This then will be a one. And... Uh, four across here and four up here. We haven't quite finished the fours yet. We have now a missing digit here is six. And... Eight blocks this square, so here's our eight, and eight's going up and across here means that's an eight we can place. This would be a one, one up here, one across there, there's a one, and this one blocking this square, there's the one there. Now here we're looking for a six again, I think, which will give us a six up there, and six blocking across puts six into that square. The last number up here is a seven. Seven across there's a seven. Missing number here, three. Three blocking across there's a three and five. We'll finish the grid. Okay, that's our New York Times hard level game for Tuesday. Uh, whether I'll be back after the evening work, I have no idea. It depends on whether I'm still awake or not. Bye bye.